I had to win and bring it in, we not built to lose Had to take the pain but stay dedicated to what you do Know we all up against the wall just in different rooms So I'm trying to win, I gotta bring it in, I'm not built to lose Homecoming for Reagan Beers back in her home state She's in the center jump circle with Von Ley and Aaronette will win it and the Buffs have first possession and there's some proud Beers fans in attendance. We've already seen them. Jalen Sherrod for three. Hello. Welcome to the matchup. <laughs> Again, she is the game starter. That's exactly what she wants to do is, is be that energy boost straight away. She went for 34 points when Utah was here in the conference opener. Shot blocked by Quay Miller. Quay. You know, there's a lot of flash, a lot of noticeable things that happen on this Buffs roster. Quay is steady and just contributes in so many ways. Here's a block. Again, just one of, you know, one of those you you can't ever count her out. You, you're not sure. Is she going to put up 20? Is she going to put up her consistent 10? The mid-range, Oregon State missed that shot, and the Buffaloes have it back. That was A.J. Murad on the shot. Sherrod feeling it. That one rattled away. Quick release to beat the defense and just had it bounce away. Talia von Olhoffen trying to get the ball down low for Oregon State. Beavers haven't found a bucket yet. Got Reese up top. Von Olhoffen, four seconds to shoot. Beers, left elbow, turns and knocks it down. Reagan Beers. A great look again. So cool, calm under pressure. Six seconds on that shot clock. Make sure she doesn't have any shooters. I'll go ahead and knock that down. Miller is bracketed, and that's a tie-up. Utah averaging 83 points a game held to at 44 in that loss on Friday to these Oregon State Beavers. Well, cold shooting is the theme. Oregon State, number one in the Pac-12, defensively allowing 34.4% from the floor. That's the best in the conference and the seventh best in the country. And they're holding the Buffs down for now. Buffs were over 50% in the win on Friday against the zone. Beers powers up. She's fouled and a free throw. Reagan Beers fouled by Ernette Vonley. Just good awareness by Beers. Gets Vonley off her feet. Has the baseline. Pauses. Draws the foul. Also makes sure she finishes that for the three-point play. Such a smart play. Yeah, it sounds like about well, 100, maybe over 100 fans and family friends kids she babysits <laughs> all kinds of people in the house <laughs> right. today for reagan beers all sorts of connections went to valor christian high school out of littleton colorado as reagan beers was the pac-12 freshman of the year and sixth player of the year last year in her first season at oregon state mia sadler drives there at vonley up in got the rebound and she's fouled in a game like this right some of this defensive battle you want to make sure these points count. You get to the line, especially uh, coming off of the, well, how they met two weeks ago, right? These freebies matter most. Got one of them. Tied the score at four. Buffaloes have missed their last six field goals. That was a three-minute and 44-second scoring drought until that free throw went down for Vonley. After giving up the opening three to Sherrod, the Beavers clamping down. Shot will rattle home. Oregon State's bucket. Talia von Olhoffen. Miller. She is just automatic from outside. I mean, 50%. Yeah. That's hard to defend. Like, I, what do you do? She can hit, and she has been hitting. 29 of 57 from deep now on the season for Lily Hansford out of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Corner. Opportunity for the Beavers knocking it down. Tamia Gardner. Three for Oregon State. So the Beavers started slowly two weeks ago against the Buffs. Kind of came out of the block slow. Buffs had a 10-point lead. This is different. Oregon State on good footing here early. Yeah, absolutely. A little bit of a change in script here. Wow. Power from Aaronette Vonley and one. Seven teams sitting inside the top 25 of the net rankings. Mathematics heading toward tournament time. Not bad. Not a bad representation by this Pac-12 body of work. Colorado at 15, Oregon State at 18 in the net rankings. Whoever gets today's game is going to get a nice little boost and a huge resume win. Oregon State already has one in this matchup this year. These teams met once in the regular season last year, just scheduled one time in the season, but they also met in the Pac-12 tournament last year. Colorado prevailing in that one. 
Four seconds to shoot, kick out. Reese will give it away to Hunter. Hoists the three and hit it in front of the shot clock buzzer. And that was Oregon State does so well. Just the way you're forced to play as an offense changes some things about your efficiency at the rim. 100%. Ball to the floor, and that'll be a tie-up arrow going toward Oregon State. Right, it's the things off the ball. It's the vision. It's the passing lanes. It's creating enough chaos that you can't get into any flow. <laughs> Look at that. And then Donovan. Like I said, Reese had it, thought about it. Oh, no. I've got Donovan wide open up there, bringing up that point guard spot, running this offense. That's a lot for a freshman. That's, yeah. you know, developmentally, it's totally normal to struggle in that transition, especially making that jump. And she is one person right on this this young Oregon State roster that has just jumped on that learning curve. It's been impressive. Sadler puts it into Whitaker, who spins and scores left-handed. Finish from Charlotte Whitaker. I like it from Charlotte Whitaker. Doesn't try to get fancy. No, she doesn't have a lot of real estate to work with. No, she can't go middle. She's got some help side defense there. Nice, easy shot. Buffs needed that. Get back within four. Work in the corner here. Dominika Parova kicks it inside on the cutter. That is the first two-point basket of the year for Lily Hanford. <laughs> She's made 29 threes on the season and had not made a single two until that finish. Now she gets the steal. Just. Lily Hansford, that was one of those cool stats in <laughs> yeah. NCAA uh, stats this year. The most threes without a two by any player. Well, with, she broke that up. Without a two-point bucket. <laughs> a super she was 0 for 6. Note. She was 0 for 6 on twos <laughs> and 29 of 57 right, on, threes. on threes. But good cut and great take what they give you, and Hansford finished it. And it's filling up that stat sheet then, getting the steal. Cuts again. Going off for two, and she's going to try to get a two plus one. Hansford leaving that unique stat behind and moving on with the twos. <laughs> yeah, get a couple. And this is what they do so well, right? You have to play them so tight outside. They've got the three point shooters. Lily's had a couple of these backdoor cuts, right? Are so effective and they are so lethal with that backdoor cut. Just slipping behind the defense. They get so many easy points. Jalen Sherrod has get on my back face right now. She's <laughs> dialed in. She saw you know, Schuler just. Puts her hands on Sherrod. Schuler, they're trying to get a clock stop right there, get the defensive change, so they actually gave up a foul with 7.8 to go in the first. Tipped pass. Finally doing a good job of sealing that off. Interesting, though, fourth team foul, so they had a few to play with here. Down to the end of the first quarter, Vonley trying to score around Reese, gets it back, puts it back up, missed the shot. That's a testament to the difficulty in getting the ball in the basket against the Beavers. She's not thinking about that. She sees no. that lane, she cuts, she's going to score it. She actually missed a bunny layup in a game earlier this year. They were up by, like, 15, so it wasn't a game killer. But everybody's laughing because it should have ended that streak. And she just <laughs> right, clanged one on a breakaway. There's a three. <laughs> That's what it. she does. Hansford with eight points. Again, so disciplined from outside. If Oregon State will knock it down. They'll look for that extra pass. It's so hard to defend them. Buffaloes down 20 to 8. The eight points in the first quarter, the second fewest in any quarter this season. They had a six point quarter against NC State in that loss. Wow, Beers, great defense against Vonley. Just a wall. Vonley had nowhere to go, and Beers just straight up. CU was disciplined, looking for that extra pass, trying to make something work down low. Vonley goes right into her. Gets nothing. Gets nowhere. Another deep look, and Oregon State not relenting. It's a 15-point lead and a Colorado timeout. To Mia Gardner, National Girls and Women in Sports Day, celebrated on the concourse today with a variety of activities. Run with Ralphie, run like a girl. Of course, Ralphie, uh, if you know a lot about Ralphie, you know exactly. that's how you run like a girl. She's a proud gal. Got the ladder working on the floor there. A little volley action going on. National Girls and Women in Sports Day celebrated this week with activities all around the country. A little golf activity. That's all on the concourse before the game today. Autograph sessions going on. Great event. Another great crowd at CU Event Center. Yesterday, I uh, enjoyed running a girls' baseball day in Fort Collins as part of National Girls and Women's Sports Day. Aaron at Vonley goes to the rim, and Buffaloes in need. They get one. Five points for Vonley. Yeah, they need her to start her own little clinic here. Finally get something going. Nice little set piece by CU. Get something on the board and get that inside game going. Tough drive. Beers is there. What a finish. Unbelievable. Good reach from left to right for Beers to spin it home. And again, just efficient play and straight up. Makes the contact. Finishes the bucket, though, on that board. 
Vonley a little timid on the defensive side, but here this is just a nice pick and roll. Vonley with the finish, making sure it counts, and then Beers off the board here. Again, does such a nice job of getting position, taking her time, finishing that shot. Vonley a little bit timid. She, you know, we, we know what happens when foul trouble happens. They were in that pickle in this last game against Oregon State. Another shot deflection with Foreman trying to get one away from shorter range, and the Beavers just everywhere. They've got long guards with good arm length. They've got mm -hmm. big pose. Here's a cut and a tough finish. Nice reversal and put down another two. That's Talia von Olhoffen. Again, the backdoor stats. If there were some backdoor cut points, Oregon is exploiting every opportunity, and CU has not adjusted to it yet. Some frustration for the Buffaloes now trying to get the ball down the floor, and they're just running into shot problems at the rim. Sherrod missed that one. Again, fresh in the minds of both teams two weeks ago. So the Buffs not really surprised by anything right. they're seeing, but it's just so effective. Another one from deep. Another one's going down for Tamia Gardner. Unbelievable. You know, she's a 9.6 point, six point. Whitaker pops up. She'll shoot. And Charlotte Whitaker puts down another her second bucket. Gotta make some kind of move here before we get to halftime. And there's one. Sherrod with the steal and fouled. Talking about National Girls and Women's Sports Day. I was doing something yesterday. I know you were uh, coaching a brain bowl yesterday. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A brain Proper bowl. assignment. Got the right coach in for that. Right. Uh, brain oh, bowl. 100%. Yes, I'm a <laughs> strong mentor in the brain bowl. <laughs> Sherrod has hit her last three threes. One in each game today and two prior. Here she'll go inside. And Jalen Sherrod going to try to saddle up and get her team back in it. Weta with the pressure. Jalen doing Jalen, just trying to get something going. Like, all right, if, if we're not going to make these points, I'm going to figure out how to do it. And you see Kendall Wett on the defensive pressure here, trying to create something. Wow. Hunter working around it is bumped by Whitaker coming over to help. Weta was all over Hunter. It's such a mature player for being a freshman. Bounce, bounce, and down. Again, you saw the movement of Hunter. She really does glide well across the floor moves and the buffs at 26 remember utah shot 28 percent that was rough for the use even a little lower foreman banked it down free to foreman those will pay off when you shoot like she does you get that now and then right we you know oregon state one of their keys well i say every pack to opponent when they're facing colorado right we cannot let free to foreman go off you get free to foreman going it changes the game Buffs have only shot two threes in the game, made them both, Sherrod and now Foreman. Sherrod comes through on the pass over the shoulder, takes it away, and scores in transition. Jalen Sherrod. Samia Von Olhoffen bounces it to Donovan Hunter, a genuine two-guard backcourt for the Beavers. Such a benefit to Scott Ruick. Here's another takeaway, Colorado defense. Turning the tide, Weta, three, Foreman, too strong, run down and saved, and the Buffs are going to retain possession. <laughs> that you hear is Sarah Rose Smith on the hustle. I appreciate the crowd response to Freedom missing that three, but look at Sherrod, just an amazing effort to keep this ball in play. She's still in there in the paint, Foreman, too strong, Reese. Couldn't flag it down. Sherrod has hit three in a row. Missed that one. Charlotte Whitaker. Oh, uh, nope. Sorry. Check that. That was Sarah Rose Smith. Send up a three. That bounces off from Von Olhoffen. Buffs down by 11. Can they get it to single digits? Sherrod is going to go to the free throw line. It's really, I thought he put that so well. You just want to get in her way as much as you can. Get in her way. Try to try to disrupt. Scott Ruick not happy at the moment, airing his grievances. <laughs> Sherrod missed the first free throw. That was a great look we had on that camera shot. Sherrod pushing downhill, and the defense, you know, running, trying to trying. get down, but she's basically running down <laughs> yes, their backs, exactly. and they don't know where to go, and Sherrod's just weaving, reads it well, gets to the line. She got one of the two. It's a 10-point margin. Yeah, and here's where you'll notice, right? J.R. Payne has some of her best defenders on the floor. Not just scores, but one of her best defenders in the lineup right now. 
Three is up, and that is good. The poise. About five minutes since Oregon State had a field goal. Marat got that. Vonley, there's. You've mentioned weight room a few times. There there's it another is. demonstration. I was say. I know we talked to Quinn Miller about it before in previous games, right? Them just coaching Vonley. We can't stop you in practice. Use your body. Let's. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta use it because we can't stop you when you do. Beers hands off. Hansford gave it away. Unbelievable. Gardner going nuts. Tamia Gardner, <laughs> another. She's got four threes. I mean, 50% from three point land right now, 7 of 14. This might be an adjustment. So you should be making very yeah. quickly. <laughs> Big road trip for Gardner. Long lay short. Weta, Sherrod. Outside, Smith. Too strong. You just see CU pushing just a little bit, right? A little bit of that desperation. Down 14 points here, trying to make something happen in a big way. Not quite as efficient. Feeling <laughs> it. That's Talia von Olhoffen nailing the three. I was saying, that's the thing. It can be any one of them, right? It's Murat. It's it's Olhoffen. Any, any of them can knock this down, right? Then you got Beers holding down the post. Buffs had it down to 10 points. It's back to 17 right. like that. <laughs> There's a bouncing board for Marat. The big mountain road trip here for Tamia Gardner. She's from Ogden, Utah. Had a great game on Friday against the Utes. Heading back to her hometown area. And carrying on with it today. Gardner, 12 points. She's hit four threes on five tries. She has four rebounds to go with it. Right now, rebounds 20 to 18 in favor of Oregon State. Buffs have closed the margin a little bit. Wow. On fire. Talia von Olhoffen. I mean, when you are this hot, yeah, you go ahead and throw that. For Olhoffen to knock it down. 31% three-point shooter on the year. Hot, along with Gardner. Sherrod is blocked, gets it back, puts it up, and that'll front iron off. And we go to the break for the Buffaloes. Oregon State, what an impressive first half of play. Unbelievable. And again, the benefit, right, for CU, you have a very experienced squad. They may not have been here this year, but they've been in this situation before in their careers. No need to stress. Held to just 24 in the first half. Buffs getting what everybody gets when you get deed up by the Beavers. Kim Miller tries the three, and Reagan Beers has another rebound for Beers. That is her ninth rebound. She's got six points, again, averaging a double-double on the season. One of 25 players in the country doing that. And the nine boards for Beers. Her team has the advantage on the glass in this game by a couple. I love Coach Rook. You know, there's always something to do better. Yeah, I was thinking <laughs> we can the same always thing. do something better. <laughs> it would have been okay to just say that was a perfect first half. Let's hope we can do it again. But obviously, you're going to see a little more than that. Beers with one second on the shot clock. Again, the patience timing that finish in front of the end of their uh, rolled that right ankle in the first half. The number four for Oregon State, Hunter. Clay Miller backs in. She gets doubled up and gets the shot away. Try to start getting a few points in here. Right. Once stuff isn't falling, it just seems like everything gets harder to make it fall. Yeah, right? It, again, it's, it's that mental sharpness that starts to wear a little bit, too. Got one of them. 46-25. Megan Beers dribbles. Yeah, I love it. Running the whole show. Yeah. Don't let Gardner shoot if you're a Buffalo. She's hot today. So is Donald Hoffman. Gardner had Beers wide open. Beers <laughs> gathers it on the second opportunity down there and spins around Von Lang. Turns out they produce some athletes. Cutting is Foreman. Finishing is Foreman. That is the thing with Frida Foreman. Once she turns it on and gets it going right, it's it's usually goes to hot pretty quick. And it's exactly what CU needs right now, right? We need a, just a little bit of that momentum to spark something. Try to interrupt this defensive effort by Oregon State. But you can't trade it for threes. <laughs> That's wow. what's going to be tough. That is the 10th three of the game for Oregon State. Unbelievable. And that's the most against CU in any Pac-12 game this year. They allowed nine threes to Cal and Stanford, and now ten threes to Oregon State with a lot of time left. Rita Foreman's going to drive 
underneath baseline and one. Foreman makes it 30 points on the board for the Buffaloes. Flexibility for Oregon State too, right? Kendall Weta ties up Hunter. Pierce is like, no worries, I got this. I'll take this down. Uh -huh. Very much on track. A couple more of those 50-point games. She's going to need fewer games than either of them to get there. A big 51-point was amazing. Effort by Juju Watkins highlighting eight 30-plus point games in her freshman year. I wonder who the Pac-12 freshman of the year is. A player who's still also under class, a sophomore, but there's a lot of young leadership and good presence, the learning potential on this roster, and they're already this good. No question, a lot of that young leadership. A testament to, again, the coaching staff and the culture they build. Now Hansford at the line after Sadler fouled her. We have Tamia Sadler on the floor and Tamia Gardner. Troy Andre handling our stats for us today. I want to have him look up how many NCAA basketball games have two Tamias <laughs> on the floor at the same time. Spelled differently, <laughs> right, mind right, you, right, but right. we got a double Tamia. <laughs> Full helping of Tamias. <laughs> Okay, you see the buffs just getting a little bit of that desperation. Kendall Weta just hoping someone can help out. And got a lane violation. Weta just couldn't pivot far enough to get out of there. Right. Beers strong. Vonley fends her off. Yeah, good straight up D. What a beautiful pass, too. Beers had just two points in the second quarter, but Von Olhoffen and Gardner scored 17 between them. There's Quay Miller, right side. Jalen Sherrod waiting to check in for the Buffaloes at the score table. Marat, free throw line, good. That's one of the indicators of the depth of this team. Marat has been a starter all year. He started 22 of the 23 games now this year. And just a great piece of the puzzle. Absolutely, you know, off the bench, again. Every team likes to talk about their bench. The Beavers trust Hunter with the ball in her hands, just taking that pressure and dribbling down the shot clock. Beers can't finish it. Vonley wrestled it away on the offensive glass try by Reagan Beers. And finally a little bit of a little bit of something for Vonley there on the defensive end. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Beers. Weta runs around the traffic. She'll draw the foul. Free throws. Weta to the stripe. Has not shot a free throw today and has now made one. That's the other tough thing with Oregon State and, that, again, that deep bench. What do you think about the contrast? You know, the Buffaloes blew out of Oregon on Friday, but they had to play that against that zone all game long, and now you flip the page and play this defense. What, how's that work for a team offensively to make yeah, that adjustment? It is a tough switch, right? But it's almost like, you know, the pace of Pac-12, you would do that every weekend. You do, right? You, you have to make some level of switch. It's more of, okay, how much bandwidth was used up in preparing for that zone. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and here goes Sherrod. <laughs> Sherrod Turbo shoots it. Got it. Oh, and one. No, no, they, no, she went the other way. I couldn't tell if that was the emphatic count it, but yeah, it was actually yeah, the emphatic. Yeah. That's an offensive foul. Again. Jalen questioning the call. Oh. I'll tell you what, Talia. Pretty good, solid D beats Hunter. Again, that's just veteran defense right there, too. I know what's coming, but again, that's so hard for CU. You want to just get some kind of spark going here. Tamia. Nothing's going your way. It's still down 21. Really about Olhoff, who scores right there. She's been referred to as the heart of this defense. And she stepped up, made the play on the runaway turbo Sherrod heading to the bucket. Talk about staying in front of her, and she did that. Sadler scoops it up. No good. And the shot misses just pile up against this Beavers defense. Lily Hansford at the line. Lefty good on the first. Oregon State vacates the blocks. That's yeah. Sherrod continuing to talk to that ref. Let's just, let's just keep talking about it. <laughs> I want to make sure we're on the same page here. <laughs> 20 seconds left in the third quarter. Hands for good at the line. The 20-point 
Halftime margin has been grown by the Beavers by five more points up front by 25. Make it 23 and maybe 22, Aaron at Vaughn. It's way. tough, but this is exactly what you need to do. Get a three-point bucket, stop the clock, get some points. Uncontested. Try to get something going. First buff and double figure scoring is Aaronette Vonley with 10. Hoisted up at the buzzer. Short that is. And Beers, an impressive first two campaigns with the double doubles, among other things, four assists today. I know, just a fundamental piece of this offense. Ooh, free to Foreman. Sherrod bounces, gets it back from Weta, and the buffs. Gonna have to do a bunch of that. Good start for the fourth. <laughs> Need a few more of those. And they kind of go to boa constrictor mode through the Beavers. Sherrod. Leah Von Olhoff in 15 points leading Oregon State today. Couple assists. He's part of that stellar sophomore class. He's Spoke to, coach, spoke to Coach Rick about that a little bit. You know, these this was a class they were recruited during COVID. Such a different time. A lot of these kids didn't get to visit Oregon State. Well, tough year last year. What was it? Four and fourteen in conference. Sherrod a roll out on the whistle. No, oh, here we are. They were we picked get? to finish tenth in the conference <laughs> this year, and they're sitting in number three, and they're right. about to take down one of the teams tied in the number one spot. And how quickly it can rebound, right? Knowing they had. Had built a really solid pipeline of talent. Some really good fundamental pieces to their offense. Backing as, up those wins. As I say, it's not at all shocking, right? Given what they were able to do in Corvallis against these mountain teams. Wow, what a sequence there. Buffs are a top, what, top two, top three offense right. in the conference. Statistically, the Utes, number one in the conference, right. just got this done to them on Friday. It's real. Sadler. Off the mark, and Beers takes another rebound for 11. She's got 12 points, 11 boards. Sadler gets it back. Weta. Whitaker. Charlotte shot it well today. Yeah, finding some opportunities. To me, Sadler creating that opportunity with the steal. What a happy to come in and distribute. Eight steals for Colorado. Defense and pressure calling card for these buffs. Buying for another. That'll be a backcourt violation. Donovan Hunt. Good day for Talia. There's Whitaker again. Feel it from right there. That's it, right? Jumper from the free throw line. And that pass hoisted out of bounds. That's the other thing. Oregon State plays so clean, too. 13 turnovers, and most of those forced. We haven't seen many sloppy plays like we just did. Sadler knocking one down. Tamia has her second basket on seven shots. Four points for Tamia Sadler. Saw Scott Ruick a moment ago on the Beavers' sideline. His associate head coach Jonas Chatterton. Tenth year with the program. Jonas, of course, spent his four years here in Boulder coaching with the Buffs. Back with Linda Lappy. And now one of the important pieces of the puzzle. And one thing Scott Root said about what he loves about his associate head coach, Jonas Chatterton, he said, hey, I'll do whatever. I'll take scheduling, and coach is like, that's it, you're good, yeah. we'll do it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> You'll handle scheduling? Well, you're in. Ten years later, here we are. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Michaela Johnson, great. the redshirt freshman from Anchorage, Alaska, for the Buffaloes. Yeah, Buffs putting in a few different pieces at this point. Sure, let's get some other reps, get something else going. Brandon McLeod playing some good defense on beers. 64-50, it's a 14-point margin. We'll see how it plays down these last couple minutes. Buffs, maybe get a couple quick buckets or get that kind of thing, get a whistle. That won't be free throws. That's the fourth foul. Talked about Tamia Gardner with a homecoming on Friday in Utah and the Reagan Beers today. How about Jonas Chatterton? Two times he is from Salt Lake City, graduated from the U in Salt Lake. Coached here at Colorado for four years in his long coaching career. And he's getting wins over both of those programs close to his heart. Jonas Chatterton, the associate head coach, Scott Ruick, spoke glowingly of him last night when we talked with Coach. Great work by the whole staff. Devin Hunter, third year, first year for Aaliyah Goodman, a Beavers legend on the staff. 
three. There's Matty Nolan knocking it down, and the big three gets it back to 11 points. Oregon State, no points in the last six minutes and 10 seconds. They've been content to just take long possessions and burn down clock, but they were not able to put the ball in the basket. Six turnovers and an 11-0 run for Colorado. They need to make 11 more points on that run. Close this big gap. Again, happy to use the clock. Buffs are going to let it wind. On Olhoffen, fends off Sherrod, gets it down to four seconds. Gets it to Beers, who shoots with one. And this to got iron, reset the clock, but the Buffs are going to rebound it. I say, you're seeing a little energy and some urgency that's been missing for, well, most of the game here for the Buffs. Sherrod gets doubled up inside. One. McLeod and Ooh. one for Sarah Rose Smith. This is something that Buffs needed this in, right, third quarter, fourth, early fourth quarter. Seeing a little bit of belief sprouting on the Buffs bench over there. The face of Jay Natchison, the freshman from Cedar Hill, Texas, looked like she thought there was hope. Down to the floor goes Donovan Hunter. Needed that free throw. Hunter bangs down second foul committed by Maddie Nolan. Nolan hit her only three a moment ago. She's hit nine of her 13 threes across the last three games. There she just missing. trying to get in there. <laughs> Hunter dribbles through Sadler and Sherrod and feeds it up to Lily Hansford. Hansford will get it away to Hunter. Had it poked away beers at midcourt. Clock burning. Under 40 and a tie up. <laughs> and that'll go to Colorado with 39.7 to go. The Buffaloes making a statement here. And maybe it's a, we see you in the tournament. We just want something totally different. What's been going on today? Sherrod will put it in. The Buffs are within seven with 33 seconds to go. Haven't scored in seven minutes and 15 seconds. to 15-0 Buffalo's run. They get it into Von Olhoffen. She's trapped in the corner and dribbles it through. Crowd learned to walk. Von Olhoffen got it away, got it back. 20 seconds to go. There's a Buffalo's foul. That'll be the fourth committed by Colorado. You're going to get bounced around. Third foul for Jalen Sherrod. And now the quick whistle holds on. And it looks likely. Their fourth quarter, one for nine from the floor. Four points and eight turnovers. Do you feel great getting on the charter plane back to Fort Alice? Or do you feel kind of a little nauseous? Right. That's where, right, again, in the Pac-12, you have to keep your foot on the gas pedal. You cannot let up. And again, the lesson for CU, right? Well, we did. We responded far too late. 18 points for Talia von Olhoffen, leading all scorers. Jalen Sherrod has 14 to lead the buffs. Roll it up, keep the clock from running. Sherrod is going to head to the rim, tries to get that through to McLeod. McLeod sends it out. Buffs need to get a three away. Nolan knows it. She'll drive it and put down a two, 65-59 with six seconds to go. Colorado will take a timeout. To polish things up a bit. Six seconds, long six seconds for Oregon State. They're on the baseline, and Oregon State on the road against number four, Colorado. And it's the first ever win in program history on the road against the top five team. The Beavers sweep Colorado.